Hi, I have beautiful news for you. So you all know that you can use Despia to build mobile apps inside of Wist. And now, a lot of people have been asking me, what about Chrome extensions? Can I use, what tool can I use to build a Chrome extension, low code or no code, using Wist? You know, I like the UI, I like the benefits that Webflow gives me. How can I make a Chrome extension using Wist? And I've been working for the last month on building a tool and a framework that is going to allow you to build a Chrome extension inside of Wist that meets the Chrome extension store minimum functionality policy, the same way that Despia does it with the app stores. Oop, I like that, I did a thumbs up. <laughs> and it's going to be fully submittable to the Chrome extension store. It's possible to be monetized and works natively inside of your browser's ecosystem. And let me show you an example. Right now, um, you know, I have not found the time to build an example Chrome extension um, that looks visually appealing. So, but that's fully technical working because the technology is the important thing. The Chrome extension cannot just be an iframe. It needs to communicate with the page it's on. That's where the value of a Chrome extension comes, yeah? It needs to be able to read, for example, all the text on this page, and then it needs to send it to the, to the frame of the Chrome extension to WIST, and then for WIST to get it and make the API call to your database and then return it and then have the Chrome extension do things, right? It has to be really um, injected and working in the site and working with the site it's embedded on. So you can now build Chrome extensions that do that. They have the native access to your browser tab. And this is super amazing. So let me show you how this works. So right now I just built like a sample Chrome extension that's just a white page inside of WIST. So I click on extensions. I go to my video compressor widget extension. And now here is my Chrome extension. And you know, in the configurations inside of Despia extensions, you can just you know set the width, you can set if you want this bar and all of that. And it's like a native Chrome extension here that already has from the functionality full access to this site it's in right now. You'll be able to also give it access to all sites and do all of that stuff. But here you go, you have a Chrome extension that's working natively. It's working in Arc, it's working in Chrome, it's working in any Chromium browser. That is very exciting. So we have Chrome extensions coming. And what makes Chrome extensions possible for the Despia ecosystem um, is a new tool that is coming from Despia that is called Despia Lite. And that is a tool that will help you build PWAs inside of WIST, right? So that you can send push notifications. You can connect it with different apps natively. Um, you can use proxy routes. You can have like root file hosting so you can register service workers. And then in the integrations, you will have access to all of the PWA accessible native functionalities of a Mac of an iPhone, of an Android, of a, of a Windows computer, you'll be able to access even some of the native AI functionalities that your device has. So this will make it into a PWA. And now, once it's a PWA, turning the PWA into a Chrome extension is very simple. So the new ecosystem approach for Despia Lite is you use Despia Lite to turn your WIST web application into a PWA. Now that PWA can be used like on your device. It can be, you know, it can be then used offline even and all of that. You can deploy it. We even support now self-hosting and code export. This is a full open source approach and we're going to have our own GitHub library soon where you can see all the source code for this Despian Light ecosystem. And we're going to go then to extensions and then we turn this into an extension that then has, the extension will be able to send push notifications. The extension will be able to use the native, some of the native AI APIs of your device. It will do a lot of cool things that are native 
on your computer like a real Chrome extension. And you can set this all up without writing any code. The configuration is super simple. It's, it's fully visual. You'll be able to pick the color of the manifest and all of that. I'm still working on it and tinkering around, but it's coming next week. And next week you'll be able to build Chrome extensions. And the cool thing is this Despia Lite ecosystem is part of no code pro code. So I assume some of you know that I started like this membership site for office hours and for support and for education, for learning how to build things in the web. But I have decided to take this even a step further. Everybody who signs up to no code pro code where you have five times a day, uh, five times a week, daily office hours during the work week where you can ask your questions and get help. And then we have a template library in there. We have tutorials, we have courses, we have things that really help you become a better low code, no code developer. But now I want to take it one step further because I want to, I'm build, I built actually something, um, sso.nocodeprocode.com. So the idea is that once you are a no code pro code member, you get your single sign on to then access all of those tools like Despia Lite Chrome extensions, Despia Lite for PWAs, and you'll be able to access them only as a no code pro code member for free. This is why it's called all access. You're going to get access to weekly templates uh, and components, custom JavaScript libraries, visual code generation tools. Those are the visual code generation tools, right? Those are the visual code generation tools. Those are the templates here. I'm all messed up with my tabs, <laughs> but those are the visual code generation tools because at the end, what we're doing here in this visual interface is generating code, right? And then deploying it and self-hosting it if you want. So you get access to those tools as well. And I do my best effort into building like about like one of those tools every month. So you have that growing ecosystem of useful tools. And there's even like an AI tool coming, helping you write code for Wist, trained on all my 200 videos on this YouTube channel and all my internal documentation. And it's the same principle of using AI that I use for my own projects and my own client projects that you go going to get access as well. And it stays at $79. There is no upcharge for those. If you pay the $79, you get access to all of those tools that are part of the no code pro code ecosystem. Besides Despia, because that costs a lot of money to run. Uh, like not Despia Lite, Despia Lite is part of this, but the normal Despia, um, this one for mobile apps, because there's a lot of human effort into yeah, like submitting the mobile apps, reviewing the mobile apps. We don't want any mobile app built in Despia that is not going to reach the app store and it's going to be successfully submitted. So even when you publish your app and it looks like you did it all yourself, we actually have a whole team reviewing the app that you built in Despia and potentially fixing some of your mistakes without letting, without even telling you, and then making sure that it gets successful at the first or second try submission to the app store. So because we have that human intense work in, because we want to make sure we don't want to take an 80% success rate. We have, 99% success rate and we want to keep it that way. So that's why we have all that human effort where actually I review probably most of the apps, probably almost all of the apps are manually reviewed by me that go through Despia, just so that I may want to make sure that they all go successful on the app store. I want every app on Despia to be a success. And that is why we're charging with Despia what we're charging because we are, you know, having that service in there and we want to add that level of human service in there to make sure that all those apps get successfully published to the app store. Um, so it's not a robot reviewing that it's, it's this robot and some of our other team members that actually are iOS developers and Android developers, cause I know nothing about Android, um, that actually review that source code of your app that Despia automatically generates and then potentially updates it in case, you know, like you have like a typo in there or something like that. So we actually make sure that it always hits the app store. So yeah, and also in case a lot of people have been asking me with Despia, we have been doing a new approach for the first early users, because you know, like if you're early to a product, 
it's always a little bit buggy. And I don't want to say that Despia is not buggy. Like it's a little bit buggy. Like the user interface of the generator is a little bit buggy. Now the app itself on the app store is a hundred percent perfect. Like we've been spending so much time on to making sure that the apps are great, that we spent maybe a little bit less time into making sure that the way how you build the apps is as smooth as the app itself. So what we are doing right now for the first early access users, like probably for the first 100 or so, we actually give you a lifetime deal. So normally you would pay $99 a month to get Despia. And you know, that would be like a thousand a year or even more, it would be a thousand two hundred a year. We now charge you 999 to get a lifetime license. You're going to get lifetime access to Despia. You get lifetime updates that you can publish using the Despia platform. And you know, it's, it's a limited deal only while we are in early access, which is probably for the next month. Um, and you then have like also cross platform. We also now support Android. I'm happy to tell that we started accepting and publishing Android apps today. And you know, but we, we, we ourselves received the feedback and from our own team that, you know, it may be not the best way how we build the front end for Despia to have it all browser based it, it because what Despia is doing, it's love, it's doing a lot of complicated processing also on the front end. And it, you know, it has to have some of those real time connections. It has to like simulate the app experience inside of your browser, which is, you know, a complex thing to do. So we're now rebuilding the Despia interface to be a desktop app instead of a website that you go to because then we have the benefit that we have more resources allocated towards Despia from your computer than if it would just be a website. And that is very cool because then everything will run smoother and faster and all that build process will go like 20 times quicker. So it will be a way better experience and it won't make your Mac hot at all because my my macbook air sounded like an airplane if i opened the despia dashboard um because you know we're doing a lot of api calls and we're doing a lot of javascript on there it's a very heavy site um but yeah so that is like an approach if you want to benefit from a lifetime offer in building your mobile app and get hands-on support from our team and help you with the submission um you know, because we review all that you want. We want to make sure that everything is a success. You may want to benefit from like the lifetime offer. And, you know, if you take the lifetime offer, one of our developers or potentially even me is going to reach out to you and it's going to set up, help you set up the stuff so that you can put it, uh, you can submit that as a, like a, we have like a whole onboarding form for you, or you can submit that. And then it's going to be built and put on the app store. And then once we are now migrated to our new version of Despia, that is a desktop app, and we're going to also make a web app that, you know, lets you do simple things in there, not the whole building itself. Um, you can then also make updates yourself. And we also have auto updates. So every time there's a new iOS out there, there's a new Android, you're going to get an email, you click on the link, you confirm on the dashboard, and it will be then submitted to the app store. So even though if we right now maybe start a little bit manual here and you get a great deal because of that, um, you still will be able to be fully supported with all extensive features that are coming after we refactored our web application. So if you want to take that deal, if you want to be an early adopter, uh, now is your time to do so. There's a great deal out there waiting for you. And I think that we can get the first apps, the first lifetime paying apps, we have some apps, but the first lifetime paying apps on the app store in like the next week or so. So stay tuned for a lot of cool case studies coming with Despia as well. And yeah, if you want to take that deal, let me know. Uh, <laughs> you can find it on the Despia website. But yeah, we also have Despia Lite because also the thing I want to mention, if you build anything crypto related, um, anything that is against Apple policies, probably you know, Despia Lite is a better solution for you just because it's a PWA and it doesn't have to go through the app review process from Apple and it can just be installed without the app store. And that is coming too for no code, pro code um, members. So yeah, there are a lot of exciting things coming. I thought I just wanted to share that with you, but the most um, exciting thing I think are the Chrome extensions. I'm going to make a Chrome extension called Wist Buddy that helps you like write code for Wist. So yeah, that's coming too. <laughs> or maybe I should call it Wisco Copilot. Y let me know how I should call that extension 
in the comments and I'll name it and the, and the comment with the most likes with the best extension name for WIST Buddy or WIST Copilot for the thing that helps you write code for WIST as a Chrome extension. And that's going to be the name where I actually name it at. If, it, if it's not already registered for copyright, of course, or trademark. So yeah, thank you so much for watching my update on Despia and on Despia Lite. And I hope you're going to build a lot of Chrome extensions. And if you want to join No Code Pro Code and then get access to all of those tools that are coming and probably next week, um, you will find the link in the bio uh, or in the video description below and also in the pinned comment. I would love to see you every day at office hours. I would love to see you in the community in there as well. And I would love to see you using the wonderful products that make your life way easier and add more features to your WIST and Webflow web applications to really make it stretch the boundaries, boundaries without having it stretch the performance. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.